Okay, so what we have here is my uh, little test demo for um, Windows Phone 7. Uh, here we have the emulator. We have Mega Man strolling across the screen, nice and animated. Um, here we have a couple buttons. When you click, it acts as if you're dragging your finger around on the touch screen. So we have a little mouse over effect. You click. We have a little animation uh, for the button click, and you see Mega Man starts running faster. So you tell it to go slower, and lo and behold, he goes slower. Um, all the way to the point where he's moonwalking backwards. Um, so click up there, hello world, we drop some particles, which nicely fade out and kind of additive blend up top. Um, so overall it's not too impressive, it's just a basic functionality demo. But if you go and you actually look at the code, um, this is what I'm rather happy with. Right here, this is a constructor for each of those buttons. Um, we have just, you know, new button, you give its position as a rectangle, you have its text here, you have its style, which is defined by a style object that I made, and then you have the font you want it to use. Now the cool part is right here. This is what I have learned is called a lambda, or a lambda, sorry, I always say that, a lambda uh, inline function. So we save it, we, we put it into a delegate so we can save it along with the button class. And uh, so that way each button has its own customized method to run when it's clicked. And then uh, in these spaces afterwards, you can specify the parameters that you want it to use. Um, so right here, we give it the A parameters and it is the animated object, which is Mega Man. Uh, so you say A as animated object and you increase his speed by 10 so he runs along faster. Uh, we have the same thing here for making him go slower, except that I never changed it to 10 and it's still 5. Um, and then right here we show like m some of the larger, uh, the, the greater power <laughs> that these uh, Lambada functions can have. Um, so we have a full for loop here, casting C to a list, adding a bunch of new particles. Uh, we specify 10 for the number of times to loop through. We specify this vector for the place to drop right here where to drop the particles and then we go ahead and pass the particle list as parameter C and it just cast it and it takes care of all of it. So the cool thing about this is that you keep all of your code in the object and this way each instantiation of the object can have a different behavior when you click on it. Um, overall I think it's kinda elegant. It might not be the most efficient. I haven't really got into test it too much but uh, I like the uh, simpleness of having it all together.